Hello everyone, I'm Kamla Delkwasar from DPS International Class 10 Commerce. You may have heard the expression, the icing on the cake. It's just something extra that makes a good thing even better. Today, I will be enlightening you on extracurricular activities, the icing on the cake. The extra activity that makes the student even better. Extracurricular activities can be basically described as tasks or activities performed by students outside the normal curriculum of the school. Most of these activities are voluntary and so you are not forced to do it. Examples of extracurricular activities can be sports, drama, music, martial arts and joining various clubs. They, are usually, they usually provide a productive break away from homework and studies and create an opportunity for you to learn valuable skills away from school. And so when you feel tired of learning or doing homework, you can, let's say, go and play the piano or practice a martial art, and then you feel refreshed. Many parents, guardians, and students themselves do not actually understand the importance of extracurricular activities. And teachers in many schools have had to convince some of these parents and guardians to permit their children to participate in these activities. This is usually the case because the parents feel that after school activities, distract their children from academics or cause them to get to a point. And some students also feel that they do not need these activities and that all they need to do is to concentrate on their books. But this could not be any more untrue as extracurricular activities have proven to be just as important as academics, especially in this day and age. So you see many singers, many athletes, and many other professions earning higher than most other professionals. These activities complement academics and help develop a well-rounded student with better social skills. Extracurricular activities have many advantages. One, they help you make more friends and be more social. And these friends might come in handy at any time or might become very important people in your life. Two, they help reinforce skills and lessons taught in the classroom. And so if you join a business club, you use different mathematical concepts that you have learned in the club. And if a student joins a drama club, they'll use various skills and lessons from their English language, from their English language lessons to help them in the club. A very important point to note is that extracurricular activities help students get into good universities as well. It's often used as a means of picking the best out of the best applicants, as many students are likely to have the same grade. And in the US alone, extracurricular activities account for about 30% of your application score. And so if you want to study in the US, you must make sure you do a lot of extracurricular activities. You can gain higher self-esteem and confidence from some of these activities, and this can motivate you to do well in your schoolwork as well. It has been established that through research and participation in these activities, it reduced school dropouts by about 40%. And this is usually the case because students may not be doing well academically, but they still stay in school because of these activities. Many teens who devote themselves to voluntary work either in their communities or in society, such as cleanups, can learn that they can make a difference in society early on in their lives and this can help them to become better people in the future. While extracurricular activities are mostly good, they have their negative impacts as well. One, some, here are some of the negative impacts of extracurricular activities. One, if you have a congested schedule, extracurricular activities can make you really tired and exhausted and so your mental health might be affected by this. You might end up spending less time with your family and friends because you're busy with these activities. And this happens especially when you have these activities on weekends. And so you cannot go shopping or go to the cinema with your family. Here are a few tips to make sure you get the best out of extracurricular activities. One, don't take up too many activities so that you're busy and don't have time to study, as you need to study as well. Two, some activities might turn out to be boring or difficult at first, but don't give up on yourself and continue working hard at it. Three, try to keep a good balance between extra activities and academics. In conclusion, extracurricular activities make you a complete student or individual. 
And so instead of using all your free time watching television or doing nothing, try and engage yourself in an extracurricular activity. It should be something you are interested in and passionate about. Otherwise, it might just be a waste of time and money. Thank you for joining me today and enjoy the recipe.